looking at my drip, looking at your drip. Whoa, mommy, look at. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. So today we have come over to the studio, and well, again this morning, me, Portia, and Chloe have come over today because we're just gonna sort some more stuff out. Although when you bring them to, you never know what you get to expect. <laughs> anyway, they're just cleaning Dave's room, keeping it nice and tidy. Um, yeah, anyway, we're coming over here to do some more cleaning. I'm just trying to sort the rest of the stuff out on this side of the room. I have actually moved the unit now that holds all the clothes. That's been moved, so I'll show you that in a minute. And I'm just deciding whether to move them leaves that go over the makeup things and buy something else to go there. And them lights are not quite big enough, so I could really do with something else um, or different lights so they kind of fit all the way around, make it look better. And then I might even move that mirror up because I don't think I like it there. So I'm going I want a bigger one, like a long one to go on it. I think it'll look better. Um, oh, on the grey thing? Yeah, I will keep that. I might just put it in the kitchen or put it somewhere or maybe just give it to Chelsea oh, so she's got... The lights, it's going to say to no. no, not the lights. Um, but I need new lights there for uh, there really. Or I need another set. Yeah, so as I was saying, we really do need some more lights for around that just because it's not quite long enough. So anyway, I'm vlogging off my 5D today. So I'm just trying to learn to use it. We're actually using I really can't work this camera out. So I'm trying to learn to use it, but for some reason I've got it in automatic and it's letting me shoot for literally like a minute and then it just got cuts off. I'm not sure whether I've got to do something in the settings so it runs longer or whether I've got to use a manual setting so anyway hopefully we'll find out how to use it. It's probably gonna go off around now. No, it's probably stay on now. Anyway I thought we'd show you so we've got this here managed to get it moved now so we just put this old one back here for the time being um, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this and then, then we've got little Teddy here just um, chilling out then I'm just going to go through this now and decide what I want to keep and get rid of and then this is what I was saying the lights up here um, are just not big enough and we really need to think about getting rid of these kind of leaves I do like them but I just I don't know I think we need something a little bit more modern it just needs to be looking a little bit nicer. Nice big plant on there. But yeah, anyway, let's get sorted. You've got the girls in here cleaning up. Or making mess, one or the other. No. <laughs> Being good for dad. It's looking good. Or it will be by the time it's finished. Where's Chloe gone, Portia? What's she doing? Is <laughs> she? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to carry on. And I've just realised this will fit Aurora for Christmas because it's 12 to 18 months, so I'm not too sure whether she's going to be wearing this on Christmas Day. There's also a couple of other Christmas outfits here. The candy cane one, which she wore, which we could probably um, get her to wear. I'll try and get this in focus. Um, and then there's a couple of others like skirts and Nelly stuff. Nelly in that Gucci. Yeah. Well, what I do Christmas photo or over in that. And then there's this one. This was actually from last year, but I, I think it might still fit her. I'm not too sure. Um, cause she it, wore she, that. She's picture. only tiny, isn't she? Did Nelly wear that? Yeah. No, that was Aurora's. Did she wear that? Yeah, at Halloween. Not this Halloween, last, week, last year. So I'm just going to show you the kitchen. Um, it's looking so much tidier now. As you can see, walking around. And then from this side, we're going to finish the wallpaper in as well. Um, so it looks complete. <laughs> but this fridge is going. I'm going to get a new one. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you and fill you in on what it looks like now. Chloe's um, doing really well. 
How did your cleaning go, by the way, downstairs? How did that cleaning go, Chloe, downstairs? Amazing. Spotless. Spotless. You having fun there, Chloe? Can you just mop that bit of black off the floor there? Uh, somebody stood on it before. Oh, she's such a good girl, isn't she? All right, guys, I'm over here now at the studio. I've got Alfie over here with me <coughs> to finish off today's vlog. Sorry, I'm chewing, chewing gum. I shouldn't really talk and chew gum. It's, um, it's ignorant, apparently. Whatever. But, um, I've just finished printing this. It's the Ghostbusters um, Ecto Grenade. Looks pretty cool, actually. Did this on a little belt printer. Came out nice. As you can see behind me, the jetpack is now completely and utterly finished. So that can go out. Uh, tomorrow it's going to go out in the post. Just needs to clean it up a bit. Um, the retraction settings are one of your printers. You see all them little bits on there? That's the retraction settings. I'm going to reduce that down for the next one because I've got two of these in order. Um, so hopefully that'll be done. Um, so we won't be doing that retraction anymore. Because what I have to use is this heat gun. So you heat around the plastic and then you're able to just wipe it off, it comes off pretty easily. And then, um, then to go around it, if you use this, which is a deburring tool, this is the greatest tool that's not known by a lot of um, prop builders and especially 3D uh, printing guys. So basically, when you have like a, anything cylindrical like this, see all the little bits on the top, you can go around it with a deburring tool and it gets rid of all the little bits. That are hanging on there. I've also got a Battlestar Galactica gun that has just finished. That's going out tomorrow as well. So I'm doing really well. I'm getting people's orders out, which is always a good thing. Um, uh, Chris, if you remember me speaking yesterday, Chris, um, I've got one of these boxes finished. It just I can't fit it all in one box. It's got to go in two boxes, and then I'm going to be giving him the Terror Dog head as well. But that's going to have to go in a big box, or I might just break it down a little bit because it's just the horns. But I can just tap the horns and they'll fall off. Um, he'll do it justice, he'll make it look amazing, he'll look, make it look real and um, he's going to have it in his man cave so I'll get the enjoyment out of seeing Chris's enjoyment having it and then putting it down his wall and I'll get to see the pictures and keep the pictures so people can see what you actually end up with when it comes to it but I actually use this glue for it this is um, like an activator glue so you spray it on it activates, as soon as you stick it on it's stuck solid it's not going anywhere um, Apart from that, not too much going on. As I said yesterday, Sarah's having a little bit of a tough time at the minute, but uh, she seems to be a little bit better today. Tomorrow she's going to go for a note, um, for a blood test, so she'll get a, the baby's notes. Which, I always feel me, when you get the green notes, you, you, you know that it's, it's happening, which is fantastic. So tomorrow we're going to be getting the green notes. So, with that said, I don't know how long the footage is that Sarah's done today, so I don't know if it's going to be a long vlog or a short one. Whatever it is, do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell. It does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can. And we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day. <laughs>